as we've said a million times this season, you play the team in front of you. Mm -hmm. So they have the Orioles. And lo and behold, I want you to stay with me on this one. Yep. Canada, Jesse. It's Keegan Aiken tonight. He's 1-8 and eight with a 7-2-6 ERA. In Boston's series with Tampa, Chris Sale's getting an extra day off, so it's Brad Peacock going today. He hasn't pitched in the majors this year. He's going on short rest from pitching on Friday for Cleveland's AAA affiliate. If the Jays win tonight and the Red Sox lose tonight, the Jays are within three and a half. You and I have been talking POF, and the Jays going into tonight have an 11.2% chance, according to fan graphs, after Friday's Funny how that death jumps, nail eh? game. It was 4.6. Yeah. Like, what does it go to if they win tonight and the Red Sox lose tonight, which doesn't seem like a remarkable stretch, unless Ryu struggles again? Like 15%, maybe? 17%? At three and a half. What, what if Tampa runs the table against Boston? Like, I've been pretty realistic about all of this. I'm not saying they're making the playoffs, but we might have a situation where it seems a lot more palatable to even suggest that they're still in the playoff hunt. I just think we, we need to uh, come to the conclusion that Poff jumps all over the place with wins and losses and depending on what happens. So Poff's ridiculous. That's yeah. why we started using it on yeah. this show because it's, it's stupid and yeah. it makes no sense and it can jump remarkably over five games depending on how it goes. But what's sent into those algorithms mm -hmm. is the likelihood of stuff. Yeah. However, the likelihood in sports sometimes will shock you. Yeah. I mean, we've been saying for weeks, if not months, that the Jays could look forward to these matchups against the Orioles and they had to take advantage. So last night was a good start. A lot of optimism to come out of it. And we'll see what happens from I'm here. I'm just saying the Red Sox have a bunch of guys on the in, under COVID protocols. It looks like they got a few more going right now. Like it's just they seem to be in shambles. And that might make it tough when you're playing a good team. Yeah. So it looked like, hey, if Tampa took three or four from Boston, maybe what if Tampa takes four or four from mm -hmm. Boston? All of a sudden, you got yourself a game. Then you got Oakland coming. I'm not getting ahead of myself. I'm not playing this game. Poff's ridiculous. But when you take care of business, these type of things, these type of conversations take place, and I'm allowing it right now. I am allowing Jays fans to wonder about the possibility if the Jays keep taking care of business.